My name's Josh Gross and I'm with Eaton. I'm the product manager for industrial variable frequency drives, and today we're going to talk about the SVX and SPX series of drives themselves. As you can see to the left of me here, this is our standard drive offering, and it has a wide horsepower and voltage range. It goes from 1 horsepower to 2200 horsepower and comes in 230 volt, 480 volt, and 575 configurations. It also comes in NEMA 1 and NEMA 12 packaging in an open design like you see here, so it actually doesn't have to be inside of an enclosure. And it has dual overload ratings, such as variable torque and constant torque ratings that can be used in a wide variety of, of applications. From a feature standpoint, the, the primary features are divided into three main categories. From a layout, you can see these categories, and the first being the power section, this metal power section right here. And this section houses several components, including the main primary IGBTs in the drive. It also has a 3% line reactor integrated into the drive itself, which is a unique feature of Eaton against many of our competitors. In addition, it also has a brake chopper, and it also has a uh, EMC filter to help reduce noise that you'd see on the line from other electronic components. It is also very easy to service, and there's a fan on top right here that can actually come out simply with a flathead screwdriver, pop out, it's got a quick connect plug, that doesn't require you to remove any wiring or reach your hands into the drive to change the drive or service the drive itself. So a very nice feature on most of our SVX and SPX offering. The second part of the drive is actually the control module. This is this blue box here, and this is electrically isolated from the power module, which means that it's 24 volt DC, so it's actually finger safe and you don't need any protective equipment or protective gloves to, to change out an I.O. point or a communication card. When you open this up, remove the base cover, open the main control board cover, you can see a couple different I.O. slots. On all our SVX and SPX series of drives, we include an analog and digital input card that has six digital inputs, two digital outputs, two analog inputs, one analog output, and two relay points. In addition, we also have three expansion slots where you can put communication cards such as Ethernet, Profibus, Modbus, CanOpen, LawnWorks, and several other standard industry communication protocols. The boards are available as conformal coded or uncoated, depending on if you're going in a harsh environment or not. And they're also common between the sizes. So whether you go from a frame size four, like this drive right here, all the way up to frame size 14, the communication module and the comm module itself is gonna be common and can be interchanged between those drives itself. The third and final piece is actually the keypad right here, which is a very user-friendly keypad and can actually be removed from the drive can actually be put on enclosure of an MCC or enclosed package drive to have it remotely mounted outside the enclosure. In addition, the keypad itself can be used as a copy-paste module, similar to a flash drive, where you can actually save the program onto the keypad and then download it into the existing drive or other drives in the system. So overall, it's a very functional drive, easy to use, modular, and, and, and safe and reliable. From a software standpoint, the drive uses a package called 9000X Drive. This software can plug directly into the keypad port behind the keypad, connecting to a standard PC, and will enable you to configure all the parameters, monitor, and log any data that you require for your application. In addition, if you don't want to use the PC tool, you can actually use a quick start wizard that's built into every drive that we ship. And that wizard allows you to configure the drive to run a basic application, only setting a, a limited number of parameters so that you're operational very quickly and you know what you need to set to run safely and reliably. In addition, we have a, a wide suite of accessories available for the drive. Things such as flange, flange kits that go around the drive so that you can actually put the heat sink out the back of the drive to get a, a NEMA 12 configuration or NEMA 1 application in some cases that you have to remove the heat out of the back of the enclosure. Furthermore, we have seven built-in standard applications for PID applications, pump applications, and a wide variety of multiple use and multi-purpose applications. The SVX and the SPX series of drives can be used in a variety of markets as well. They can be used in commercial space, in the industrial space, in the MOEM space. With that said, applications can be wide and varied, from wastewater treatment plants to fans to conveyors, even to paper mills and, and logging operations. The drive has applications and enclosure accessories and capabilities to meet those demands. We have a strong support network for these drives as well, based out of Watertown, Wisconsin, which can be reached through our standard Eaton Care call center number. We have pre-sale support, post-sale support, and technical support for any of your drive needs. Overall, the SVX and SPX series of products are our general purpose offering and our primary line. 
They have a wide variety of features and are very cost competitive. They will help you meet any of your demands, whether it's an efficiency, reliability, or safety application. We hope that you'll consider these products in your next project or any of your upcoming, upcoming motor control opportunities. To get more information about the Eaton SVX and SPX product line, you can simply go to Eaton's website, eaton.com forward slash drives, where you can get information about these drives in particular, as well as our other product offerings.